Welcome to Curie Electronics. In this video, we are going to see what is peak RMS and peak to peak value of sine wave. So, this is the time axis, time. And this is for the y-axis for amplitude. Amplitude. And all of you know how is a sine wave. It will be keep on going like this. Now, a peak value means from here to here this is known as the peak value of sine wave that is vp so it can be either direction the either a positive direction or negative direction the maximum value achieved by the sine wave that is the peak value then what about peak to peak value? If you want peak to peak value, that is between the two peaks, negative peak and positive peak. See, this is the peak to peak value, peak to peak. V, peak to peak. Here also once more, I will show you here. That is from this peak the positive peak to negative peak between these two peak this is the peak to peak value of the sine wave v peak to peak if you see here v peak to peak value of ac equal to 2 times the v peak Now there are some conversions also associated with. Now if you, you want to know what is V RMS value that is the root mean square value or effective value of AC that is equal to a V peak upon a root 2. This will give you the once you know the V peak value or V peak to peak we can find the V RMS value. So V peak upon root 2 or we can say it is 0 0.70 times V peak that is the V RMS. What about V average? For the sine wave what is the V average? V average is the 0 0.637 times of V peak. So once we know, if we know V peak to peak, what is V P based on V peak to peak? Once you know the V peak to peak, if you divide V peak 2 by 2, you will get V P. So now you got once what is the V peak value, V peak to peak, V average and V RMS. Next. There are two more terms associated with that is form factor. Form factor. It is the ratio of RMS value V RMS to V average to V average and it comes to for a sine wave it is 1.11. Similarly, one more ratio is there that is the peak factor, peak factor or crest factor and it is the ratio of V peak, V peak upon average value, V average and this value comes to 1.1. 
four one. So now you got the idea out form factor peak factor. It is I think one point four one four. V R M S. And V peak to peak V peak. If you know this much, we can convert. See, simply if we take one example, you got hundred volt peak to peak. I let I let V peak equal to hundred volt AC. Okay, it's for AC only V peak comes sine wave. Now what is V peak to peak? It is two times of V peak. That is two hundred volt. What about V average? It is zero point six three seven times of V P. That is sixty three point seven volt. What about V R M S? That is zero point seven zero times of V peak, which equals seventy seven seventy point seven volt. So this is how you can manipulate. Now, see you got the value of V R M S. V R M S equal to seventy point seven volt. What is V peak? V peak is the question. How do you find? If you multiply by root two, root two means what? One point four one four. Multiplied by seventy point seven, what do you get? You will get hundred volt. So V peak equal to a root two times of V R M S, or one point four one times of V R M S will give you give you the V peak value. So when you use oscilloscope to measure the sine wave. this this is useful thanks for watching